Hey guys, it's me. So I know you've been probably asking yourself, where have you been, Alexandria? And so I'm just going to have like a quick brief explanation of where I've been. Basically, I haven't had inspiration for YouTube videos. I've been alive and well. I have been more active on my DeviantArt right now. So if you really want where I'm active, that's probably where I'd recommend you go at the moment. But it's just I haven't had inspiration to make videos. And as for my cause vlogs, which is what you're watching right now, I've just been working on my cosplay so sporadically that it just, it would be a kind of annoying to have to record on like five different days and put that all in a video and then make know that it took five days to do something because I was just working on it randomly after school. But today is Saturday and I decided to work on a pretty big component. Now the couple of things I did do off camera, um, and by off camera I mean like in the past week or two weeks, I did my tiara. And I made the base of the ears as in I kind of sewed up the little shell. It's not stuffed yet. And today, so far, what I've done is I've just cut, um, a made a pattern, cut it, and pinned my tail. So here it is. It's covered in Rex hair. I'm going to have to take a lint roller to it. Um, I'm, not I'm trying not to touch my eyes because anytime I touch my eyes after working with fleas, my eyes always burn. I don't know why. It always feels like there's a hair in my eye. I mean, I guess they don't burn, but. Yeah, so here it is. Here is the lovely tail. And so I'm going to go start sewing it on my machine over there. And hopefully I can get it done today, completely, including the elastic band. And maybe throw on the dress and see how it looks. So I'm going to go start working on that. Let's go! out which took probably like 45 minutes um, maybe probably a little less I was kind of dawdling around because these little tail dingies sucked um, you can tell they look a little worn because of turning them inside out so I hope that doesn't seem noticeable um, so here it is here's the tail I'm gonna hope it looks okay um, so here it is it's just one width maybe I should have tapered it in more but I'm never turning this thing right side out again. It was just so much. Um, the seams are sort of noticeable. Um, I used the closest, the red color I could. So, hope you can't see it. Excuse me, see them very well. Um, I can't press this or anything because it's fleece. I don't believe you can iron fleece. So, no, I'm not going to really try that. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. So, I'm going to go get some wire hangers and... Um, bend them and um, put them in and then I'll start stuffing it which is going to be really fun and really annoying because uh, I'm really sweaty right now because I'm really hot so I think I'm going to go turn down the AC some maybe get some cold air in here but yeah so um, I will see you then hello okay so I just finished stuffing the, in tail, the tail basically all that's left is to attach it to the elastic so here it is. It looks much more like an espion tail. I mean, still very pink, but I mean, yeah, really, really pink, especially when you put it up with purple. Um, but here it is. So um, it's like kind of a huge Y. It's pretty, like, except for like these areas, which I can get really too much in. Um, it's uh, pretty soft. It's really soft, actually, which is nice. Um, much better, better than the anti pill fleece, definitely. Um, I mean, that little bit still worn down. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Um, now, it is actually sewn up here. You can easily see that. That's actually because I'm going to fold this down on the elastic, probably, because I don't want to have, like, any wires or anything. 
So the elastic is probably going to just, the tail's going to be hanging on the elastic. But actually sewn on probably, just because like then it'll move. But yeah, so up here it's stuffed pretty lightly because this is going to be where my like hips are. Um, you can't really see it, but uh, when I would wear it, it would be like, oh, I'm so short. It'd be like here, whatever, it'd be up here. And like, I don't really want that part being stuffed because that's going to be the part under my dress. But for the rest, yeah. And it goes down pretty low, which is fine. Uh, I did not actually put a wire in it because my wire failed. Like, I did not want to have to deal with putting the wire in, like, in the, um, of the, uh, polyfill in it. I forgot the name. But I'm pretty happy with how it is so far. So I'm just going to uh, maybe take a break for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to measure the elastic around my waist cut it so that because I'm never hand sewing elastic again then um, sewing this directly onto it and then trying on my dress and seeing how it works and then who knows I mean I'm not really gonna put on the cape today because I don't feel like it but yay and then I uh, should hopefully get to stuffing the ears which I don't think I've ever shown you so here they are hopefully I'll get to stuffing them tonight and sewing them up on the bottom get their their bottoms open and then sewing them together and maybe figuring out how I'm gonna attach them to my wig because I think I'm just gonna do bobby pins. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. It's been two minutes, so I think that's a bit too much of talking. So see you in the next step. Okay, sorry for the cranny angle. I didn't really have anywhere to put my camera because my room is super small. Um, egg. I wear my clothing. So I just finished the tail. I have it on with the dress. You can sort of see the elastic a bit. I'm sure I will. It shows up on camera. But this part, the reason I wanted to wear it so high was so my cape would cover that. So you would only really see the where the tail was, which would make more sense anyway. So speaking of that, here it is. It's so weird turning like this to the camera. But yes, there it is. It swings. Kind of. So when I walk, it's going to bump into my legs a lot. So very annoying if I decide, you know, to run or something. It's going to be hitting me the entire time. Um, you can see it a bit, um, but again, the cape is going to cover that. So I really like it. And honestly, you know, looking... Uh, sorry, I need to turn the mirror. No, it is very nice looking pink. <laughs> Especially with the dress. And let me back up all the way so you can kind of see it. Some, oh no, you can see a little bit. I was doing that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll lift it up a bit. See, here it is. Um, it is pretty darned pink. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to make sure my butt was covered. Um, it is on the pinker side, especially when compared to my light lilac dress. But, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it because I got the wrong fabric. Or rather, there wasn't a the right fabric. And since Espeon also can look kind of pink and blue, I figured, oh, go with the pink. That sounds like it's purple. It's gonna look very weird. Okay, so here it is. Can't believe I just jumped in a dress. So pretty happy with it. So now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go stuff my ears and sew them up, and then I will check back in with you, and then I'm going to end the cost walk. So see ya. And in the same location without a good reason. I'm back, mostly because I'm too lazy to move my camera. Or rather, I don't know where else to put it. So I finished sewing up the ears. So here are my two ears. They're stuffed and sewn. Would probably end up going around here, I'm thinking. Maybe here. Then I have my little tuft thingies. Because, you know, it's be on little weird hair tufts. They're going to probably go near my actual ears. Maybe in front of them. Um, it looks very weird when just these. Um, but together, they'll probably end up looking something like this super excited um that's about everything i really want to do with this costume today it's just the fact um i have a side project i want to work on and it's about to be six o'clock about 20 minutes and um i do have to eat dinner and i have another thing i need to do tonight after dinner so i got quite a lot to do so i just wanted to go ahead and end this video i'm sorry i wanted more content but i'm pretty sure i gave you quite a bit um it's so next time on the cost vlog i am probably going to be, uh, maybe, I shall not know. I might actually finally get working on those gloves and socks. Because once those are done, it's on to the staff. And on to getting those ears on the wig. Because 
I mean, I could put them on a headband, but my clear headbands are really noticeable, so I'm gonna try to pin them to the wig. And I could always, you know, sew them in. That's always an option. Hopefully I don't have to go to that option, though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. So, bye-bye, everyone! I uh, hope you liked this video. Like it if you did. Alright, bye-bye!